In this episode, we get through the most terrifying experience of our lives. Shit! What the f In the dark. Come join us. This looks amazing. In this forgotten world. We traveled from Portugal to the Likuala region, situated in the Republic of Congo, in search of the mythical beasts, also known as cryptids, that are said to inhabit this rich ecosystem. The most well-known being the Mokelembembe, a surviving sauropod dinosaur that supposedly evolved into being semi-aquatic. But, although we have already made some amazing discoveries, we know Mokelembembe is not the only neo-dinosaur in the Congo. Cryptids are animals that are supposedly unknown to science. A great example of a former cryptid, even though the word only appeared in the 90s, is the Okapi, which inhabits this region. The Okapi was once known as the African unicorn, before being proven to be a real animal by the beginning of the 20th century. And this has been the case for thousands of species too, in the Congo and all over the world. So, we are out here in the forest again, but this time we plan to spend the night uh, and see what else we can find. We have already been scouting some locations during the day where the natives say they saw evidence of the Mokelembembe. We went further into the darkness of the forest by day so we could have an idea of what could be the best places to film. But as the night settled, something unexpected happened. Do you hear that? Shit! Shit! What the f***? What the f*** was that? So, we may have just come across an infamous cryptid. But we have to see the footage later, to analyze it. Revisiting the footage later, we believe this could be a Kongamatu, a pterosaur cryptid said to be very aggressive. Could this be real proof of the existence of these flying reptiles? Uh, I think we'll, we will set camp around here, in a location where we will remain Hidden. As we set camp, I found something incredible nearby. So, I was just setting some trail cameras around here, and you have to see what we found. Just take a look at this huge web. It looks like it was made by a big or various species of pterophosid. Uh, these are the tarantulas we all know and love. <laughs> and I mean, this looks amazing. Just look at it. I will try to see if someone's home. But nobody was home. We could not help but wonder if this huge web belongs to the Jba Fofi, a giant spider said to have once been very common, according to the natives. That web back there looked recent. I would really like to see a tarantula wandering about, whether it be the mythical Jibafofi, or not. I would really love to see one living specimen tonight. But I think for now, I'll just rest here by the fire. The forest became alive. There were so many sounds, 
a lot of which we could not really identify. That was until the following happened. Hold on. I just got notification from one of the trail cameras. I believe. Holy shit. Go. We have to go now! What animal is this? Could it be the legendary Congo Raptor? This is a dromaeosaur cryptid that is said to reach almost 3 meters in length. Either way, it was big, fast and coming our way. Come on, this way. Quick. Fortunately, we escaped this time and once again found amazing evidence of not one but various cryptids that lurk in the shadows of this forgotten world.